welcome back students to one more session now today we'll be learning the derivation of entropy I remember we'll be learning the uh, isothermal changes as well as we'll be studying how is this particular entropy calculated in reversible as well as irreversible changes now I'll be teaching you all about the isothermal changes what did I write here I said change in total energy for different types of expansions or compressions of ideal gas right so in the previous video I've taught you what actually is in spontaneity then I've related that spontaneity to entropy right I also taught you what is the uh, with reactions what is entropy to disorderness right so for the change of entropy for one mole if I have to calculate Basically, how is entropy denoted? It is denoted by delta S. Isn't it? Now, change, change of entropy of one mole of an ideal gas. Ideal gas. How will I write that? One mole of an ideal gas. How is it given? It is denoted by delta S system. This is the formula which is given to you ln V2 by V1. This is the derived one which is already given. From this we will see how, how is that temperature because basically the temperature is kept constant isn't in isothermal changes. Let's take this and start working out. Now what actually is this? What is V2? V2 is basically in isothermal changes. Like normally if I take we will learn this reversible as well as irreversible. So V2 is a final volume which I am taking okay so what is y1 v1 is a initial volume final volume and initial volume okay. now we'll, we'll start calculating the same for reversible as well as irreversible changes right so students let's start so suppose if i have to take the same formula now i'll start calculating for reversible change okay let's see how it goes about I'm taking what what concepts I'm picked up expansion as well as compression now I'm going to consider if the expansion of compression is carried out reversibly so it is right if expansion over compression is carried out reversibly okay remember this so I've already given the formula suppose if i take a reversible change what will this become this will become q reversible isn't it yes so q reversible is equal to minus work isn't it for expansion what is this is equal to it is equal to rt ln v2 by v1 and we've already written s delta s system what is this equal to is equal to q reversible by t yes this is for the equal to because q reversible is what it is nothing but rt ln there is right rt then b2 by 1 Done. now <clears throat> and q reversible what happens the heat is exchanged reversibly between system and surroundings isn't it at what at temperature t because it is an isothermal change so this q reversible doesn't heat exchange it is right Reversible heat is exchanged between system and surroundings. Remember that at what at temperature T, isn't it? Yes, so how can we write this? This is basically written as delta S surrounding equal to Q reversible by. Now how can I take the total one now? Total is equal to delta S total equal to the total is equal to entropy delta S of the system plus delta S of surroundings which is equal to zero. Remember this. This is the total value, isn't it? Because we have taken that for the ideal gas from the ideal gas we have taken isothermal uh, this one and we've done. So let me come back and meet with meet you all with the next concept that is what will happen we'll see what will happen when it is irreversible change as well as intermediate expansion also.